Hello guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at animated uh, textures, which is something that I only learned today. Uh, however, I did have to piece the information together from a couple of videos. So, I'm combining all my knowledge into one and sharing it with you now. So, let's take a look at what I'm looking at, what I'm talking about here. Ooh, sit play. As you can see, those portals are no longer just a static image. In fact, the material on them is moving. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at creating our own. So I'm just going to add a directional light out here so that we can work outside and we'll create a fresh one. Let's just move over here somewhere. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to need is to create uh, a sprite sheet. Now what a sprite sheet essentially is, is I'll load up an example for you. Uh, this I'll make a download link for this in the... Um, in the description as well so you can use mine so essentially what I have here is this was the original image and I opened this in Photoshop and I rotated it uh, I took 360 degrees for a full rotation and I divided it by 16 which gave me 22.5 uh, 22 which is how many degrees I had to rotate it by each time so what I essentially did was I'll just open up Photoshop real quick as well and just show you Just give this a second to load. Okay. So this was the original image of the portal. And it's a PNG image, so the, the background's clear. So essentially all I did was rotate it by 22.5 degrees each time. And then I saved it and then rotated it again. And saved it and rotated it again 16 times until I had 16 of them. Let me just close out this. So those are my 16 images. Now, we're going to use a piece of software, which again I'll have a link to in the description. This software is called Gluit. This will be the link, but there'll be a link in the description. And it's simple, you just download the zip, and just drag it out of the zip and put it somewhere. So I'm going to find my Gluit program, which is here. This program is very simple to use. We're going to add all 16 of the images that we just created into Gluit. We simply do this by hitting add and then selecting 1 through 16, like so, and open that. Now, just step 2, hit glue it. That's wrong, actually. We want to have four columns. So when it says 0 here, change that to a 4, then hit glue it again. And you'll see it's 4 by 4, which is 16. Now you can sample this by pressing play and you'll see that it turns very slowly. However, we change the delay to 100 and you can see that there we have our spinning sprite. Just hit save and I'll save that and there it is. Just a quick preview of that. Now, one thing that we want to do to this image to make it like this one is we need to change the clear background to black. So again, open up Photoshop. I shouldn't have closed this down. It loaded quick enough anyway. Open Photoshop and drag your sprite into it. Sprite sheet into there. You're going to just duplicate this layer. And on the layer behind, you're just going to make it black. Like so. So you still have your 16 by 16. However, this time it's on a black background. Save it as a PNG image. And you can overwrite your old one because you don't need this one anymore. If you'd like, I'll provide both all 16 images and the completed image in a download link in the description so that you don't actually have to go through this step yourself. This is just information for if you'd actually like to do so. So we've used Gluit now to create our sprite sheet. Now we need to create the material. I'm going to quickly create something to create, put the material onto. So I'm going to drag out a box. And I'm going to squash it down. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the material um, that I created, the previous one. And this here is the material. 
So, I'm going to now show you how we go about making this. Right click and make a new material. We're going to call this Portal Tutorial Material. And save that. Open up the material. And from now, we need to import the image that we just... Sorry, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself again. I uh, seem to be doing that in my tutorials. Let me just make a new folder called Tutorial so I'm not getting things mixed up. So, we need to now import the image that we just created by dragging it into the Unreal Engine. Giving it a second. It may give us this issue about it being not, not being a power of two, but it's okay, just press yes. Now that the image is in there, we're going to drag it into our newly created material. There are a few things that we need to change on the texture sample. On the this even, sorry. The blend mode needs to become additive. We need to take this two-sided box and we also need to I believe change the sorry, change the shading model here to unlit instead of default lit. And from the texture sample we're going to link that up to emissive color. Now, out of UVs we're going to drag a flipbook like so. So, do you remember how many rows and columns we had on our uh, flip on our original image? We had four columns and four rows, which gave us 16 images. So we're going to drag this off and make that into a constant. Now, since both of these are the same, we can link them up to the same constant and change this value to a four. Now we need to do some math. So, time. And we're going to bring this one out to a frac. And from the frac, we're going to head on over to a multiply. And this, we're going to link up to our animation phase. We're going to now link B to another constant, which is 1. This will be how you change the speed of your animation. I'm just going to hit save. Compile errors. Okay, uh, that's a little strange. I'm not too sure why that's happening. I'm just going to try and use my image that I got first. I'm just going to drag that in there again. So, UVs up to UVs. And this one to emissive color. There we go. Don't know why I needed to re-import that, but yeah. So, there we have our material. So, what we're going to do is just save that. And close it. And I named that Portal Tutorial Material, which is here. And now all I'm going to simply do is drag this onto what I want it on. So you'll notice at the back, it's all the same. However, that gives us a, trans uh, a see through look. Now, all we need to do is scale this. So, if you select the face, head on down to uh, alignment, and then align surface fit. And there you go. Now you have a portal texture that's see through and looks like a portal. So, that's how we create an animated texture. As I said throughout the video, the necessary links will be in the description. Um, if you don't want to use Photoshop to change the background color, you could probably do it in any other program like Paint, MS Paint, uh, another free program if you don't have Photoshop purchased. Uh, so yeah, once again guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, and I hope this has helped you out in learning how to, um, how to create a animated material. Thanks, take care.